Good afternoon, everybody. Again, here we go with the Ground Grown podcast and Central Ground CrossFit with quick tips and strategies. We are in week number four of the CrossFit Open. That means 17.4. And as predicted by a lot of coaches, if you're smart enough, it is the chipper workout 16.4, aka the 55s. And it's gonna be a doozy. It's it's obviously one of those harder workouts. A lot of people are not looking forward to doing this, but at the same time, a lot of people are looking forward to doing this again because they want to do better than themselves last year. This is when the true beauty of the CrossFit Open is seen, all right? So make sure you warm up that lower back. Make sure you warm up those shoulders. Make sure you warm up your rower and your engine just a little bit. You want to go into this workout a little bit warm, not too stiff, right? And also, of course, always do your mobility just in case, of course, you want to try it one more time if you're crazy enough, right? So, again, lower back, hamstrings, shoulders, you've got the deal. We're here to give you guys some quick tips and strategies on how to break it down. Joining me this week is... Coach Gap, With a shirt on, right? Yeah. And we're going to talk to you guys about movement by movement. And, of course, we're starting off with the deadlifts, which Coach Gap will talk about. All right, guys. So, for the deadlift... It's all about your set breakdown. So if you have a 450 deadlift and up, or you have a strong deadlift, we suggest sets of an uh, initial set of 15 and then tens the rest of the weight. If not, or your muscle endurance isn't that good, you can start with six sets of eight and then um, tens and then or fives off the bat, fives and then threes and ones when you feel like you need to break it down. As always, if you're more comfortable doing the deadlifts, belt up if you need to, if you don't really need to, that's perfectly fine. Ensure and make sure also that you're doing the right kind of deadlift, you're not doing clean deadlifts because you're gonna need your quads, you're gonna need your legs for the next movement, which is your wall balls. So if you're proficient with wall balls, our first recommendation is the three set, we'd like to call it, right? You're gonna do a set of 25, a 15, a 15, and get on that rower, right? If you feel that that's too much to maintain, You've got your 20, 15, 10, and 10. I hope my math is right so far. If you find yourself not too confident um, and you feel that you need to conserve yourself a little bit for the row, then you've got your 15 and four sets of 10. And if you're one of the regular folks who feel that you're still kind of working your wall balls, working on your mobility and your proficiency with the movement, then here's our final recommendation. You're gonna do six sets of eight and then you're gonna cap it off with a set of seven. This has been very efficient so far. We've been using it with the guys in our regular classes and a lot of them have gotten to the rower and in fact finished it. So if you need a go-to strategy, uh, especially if you find yourself struggling with wall balls, the last one would be it. If you need a competitive advantage to get on the rowers and the handstand pushups, the three previous strategies would do the trick, okay? And next up on the movements, we've got the rower. All right, so on the rower, if you're one of the more proficient ones on the row, you want to start the first 15 calories with a 1,000 pace, and then the next 15 at around 1,200, and the last, you just got to sprint that. If you're okay on the row, maybe start with a 750 to 900 pace, and then wrap it up to 1,000, and at the end, you sprint. So we say you got to sprint because it's the game changer. First, it's your tiebreaker, and you want to buy as much time on the handstand push-ups, which we feel is the bottleneck yeah that's gonna be the bottleneck for this for this workout and as coach Gab did say you know we we were specifically saying ramp it up you want to start a little bit slow because you just came from your wall balls right your legs are shot your lower back is shot from that from sorry, from your deadlifts so be very strategic with your breathing and your pulling right uh, ramp it up as soon as you get to maybe 25 then 40 that last 15 calories give it a good sprint and if you manage to get off the rower, you're gonna to come to the last movement of the, the workout, which is again, like what we said, will be the bottleneck. You've got your handstand push-ups. Now, if you're a ninja, you're very good at handstand push-ups, and you wanna get back to the deadlifts, just because you feel that this is your advantage, go ahead and do your five sets of 11, by all means. And you're gonna see some people actually do this, right? We don't recommend anything more than this, because you're gonna to have to suffer a little bit of muscle endurance, right? Um, if you are like the regular folks who are still kind of working on their handstand push-ups, but kind of consider themselves proficient at it, if you can conserve your legs on the row, as soon as you get your handstand push-ups, this will be our recommendation. We've got your set of 10, 8, 7, and then 5 sets of 6. This is what I'd personally be doing just because I feel I'm more comfortable with this. Now, 
if you find yourself somewhat proficient with handstand push-ups but you have a tendency to have muscle endurance problems then this is what you're doing 11 sets of five but with this strategy we have a counter strategy or an assisted strategy the tendency is somewhere around the seventh or eighth set of five you're going to experience a lot of muscle endurance issues so once you start to feel that the fives are almost impossible drop it down to the threes and same thing with the threes the moment you feel like you're gonna get that no rep because of that hard standard drop it down to twos you're better off saving yourself some energy rather than forcing bigger sets and then getting no rep in the process we do have a tight standard after all for that handstand push-up okay and overall those are your four movements we wish everybody the best of luck, Good luck remember guys. mobilize your lower back hamstrings your shoulders practice that row get the heart pumping a little bit bring it back down pray to the lord pray that you don't see him during the workout especially during the deadlifts right and don't forget to have fun we will see you guys on the final week of the open next week for 17.5 again joining me this week coach gap with the t-shirt on from ground grown podcast job and renzi behind the camera and central ground crossfit peace